we wish to calculate electric field created by a dipole and the position we have taken is on the axle line minus plus this line when extended together is known as XL line axis. Now all the measurement of the distance we will take from center. From the center this one length is L, this one length is L and this total length is 2L. From the center we have taken a point at a distance R and here we want to calculate electric field this is point P on the XL line. So we start calculation electric field at point P. What is the formula we are going to use? We are going to use the formula electric field due to point charge that is the only formula we know which has been made with the help of Coulomb's formula. Okay, so electric field at P electric field at P due to plus Q. Here is the plus Q and the formula for electric field is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught the quantity of charge Q upon square of the distance. Now what is the distance? R is distance from this point but we are taking electric field due to this and this is not at distance R. What is its distance? This distance. And you can very well make if this is, if this distance is R, this distance is L, then this is R minus L and this will be R minus L square. Similarly, electric field at P due to minus Q. Okay. Due to minus Q, this we can make as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon this distance. This distance is R plus L. So this is R plus L square. Okay. Now there are two methods. If you want, you can keep the electric field along with sine. This is because of the negative Q, then this E will be negative minus and this will be positive. So we can make it like this or when we are finding the electric field, net electric field is addition of the two. Electric field is a vector quantity. This is positive electric field. Its direction is this way. That is positive direction. This is negative. Its direction is this way. Now, if we want resultant, then what do we do? According to our training in the vector addition, we know that we must decrease one from the other because they are in opposite direction. So net electric field E net will be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught which is the larger one whose denominator is smaller. This denominator is small. So this field is larger. This will prevail. How much will be the net Q upon R minus L square and minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R plus L square. This is in this direction, this is in this direction, so this will be net. And now 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught, this is common. Q is also common. And what we get inside is 1 upon R minus L square minus 1 upon R plus L square. This is Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught and here we get multiply the two R square minus L square whole square. This square is here. Inside we have multiplied R square minus L square. This and here. If we divide with this 
what remains r plus l square minus divide with this what is remaining is r minus l whole square if you solve this r square minus r square l square minus l square cancel out what you get here 2 r l minus minus 2 r l that will add it up to 4 r l so now i come here the net electric field e e is equal to q upon 4 pi epsilon naught and this will be 2 and 2 that is 4 r l 4 r l upon r square minus l square whole square now we know a quantity that is dipole moment effectiveness of the dipole and that dipole moment we know the formula it is 2 q l here we take this q is here l is here and 1 2 we will take from here so what we can write in place of 2 q l we will write p so that is p what remains here is 2 r upon 4 pi epsilon naught and this is r square minus l square to the power 2 this is actual electric field but here we can make certain approximations the approximation is the dipoles are very small in size so l is very small compared to any distance of r l is very very small quantity so when it comes to minus r plus square of r decreased by square of l does not make any significance change in r square value so this l square we can uh, omit so l square is very small l square very small compared to r square hence neglect it and now if we neglect it what remains with us that i will write here e is equal to 2 p r divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and this is r square square r square square is r to the power 4 and l we have neglected this is our expression now if this is our expression then r r can be cancelled and what we get here is 2 p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r to the power 3 this is the simplest one we can get and we can write it this way e is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught which is constant of the medium and here we have 2 p upon r cube so this is our result which we will remember that electric field is not zero it has certain value so this we have seen on the excel line it has certain value now this is magnitude of the electric field what should be the direction answer is that we have done earlier this is a larger quantity and it has got direction this way and this is smaller cancelled out so what we get remainder is electric field in this direction this is our resultant electric field now how do we name this direction for nomenclature c di this uh, dipole moment is a vector quantity and it has got a particular direction what is the direction of dipole moment minus to plus so this is direction of dipole moment we will compare with this electric field and dipole moment both are in the same direction so this is the direction and this is how we remember it that e has e has direction of dipole moment dipole moment okay so 
now we get this is magnitude and this is direction we will say this is another word for this is along p along p means whatever is the direction of p that is direction of e here if you will take it here it is in this direction if you will take it here it is in this direction if you will take it here again it is in this direction don't think that it will revert it will not you see minus will attract a test charge in this direction plus will repel it in this direction but this is away so here this force will be prominent this force will be larger this electric field will be larger so net electric field will be again in this direction so completely on the axial line at any point electric field is always in the direction of p and this is the formula for that so the next we will study what will be the electric field due to dipole on the transversal line